Hello guys and welcome back to Medis Tech Circle. In today's video I want to show you how you can use the multi-window and multitasking feature on your Samsung Galaxy device correctly to be more productive in your daily use. So let's get started. <laughs> So yeah, so let's dive in. So um, you may have noticed that you have on your Galaxy device, so if it could be the Galaxy S6, S7 Edge, S7, S8, S8 Plus, Note 8 and the S9 and S9 Plus, so you will may have noticed <clears throat> that you will have here this multitasking button. So um, of course, if you have a device from Samsung um, newer than the Galaxy S8, you will have these on-screen buttons, but um, they will do the same as they are doing here on the Galaxy S7 Edge. So um, the first thing I want to show you how you can use the multi-window feature. So you will see on just some apps that you have this button here, which so shows you a thing of, of split mode view. So um, just some apps are supporting this um, um, split view. Um, so for example, let's say you want to have the settings app and the memo app opened together. So um, you type or you press this button here, you will see that it minimizes and um, you can also um, select here how many space you want to have for the settings app. And here you want or here you will see um, which apps you want to have in this, uh, yeah, in this other part of um, the display to be um, there. And it will show you first your um, opened apps, but you can also go to the um, more apps section and then you will get here a list of multi-window apps which you can use. So let's say um, not we want, don't want to have Memo, but we want to have, um, let's say, the calculator. So here you can see that the calculator opened up in the other part of the window. You can see which window is active by um, looking here at the bar and there where the um, this bluish bar is, it says where the, which, um, which of both um, applications are active. So when I um, touch here on the top, you will see that the line shows to this part of the display. And then here in the calculator, it changes back. So um, yeah, here you can rearrange the size of um, the um, of the window. So um, maybe you want to have more of the app here in the top than on the app on the bottom, so you can change it. And um, yeah, so you can here drag and uh, drag it. That's really easy and intuitive. But here you will see that there is a little bar. And if you tap this here, you can change the arrangement. So if you want to have the calculator to be on the top, you can do this here and um, to have the settings on the bottom. But if you tap again, you will see that we have other settings so let's say we want to have the calculator app in a small window which you can um, drag around. So first you will have to make sure that the calculator app is activated. So you will see this again by this uh, line, by this um, bluish line here. And then we tap again on this um, bar. And then you will tap on this icon here. So. In, when I tap here, you will see that we have a small window, a small pop-up window here. You can now also um, change the uh, change the yeah the size of it. So um, by holding here the corner, you can make it um, smaller, thinner, and um, you can make or do it, and you can drag and drop it everywhere you want. So like a window. On your Windows PC. So this is really useful maybe for if you want to watch a YouTube video. So this also works with YouTube and you want to check what is going on on Twitter. So yeah that's nice. So um, we go back 
now um, to an app like Twitter. And now I want to show you how you can do this by doing this with a gesture. So just to go here from the corner to the um, other side of your display, how you can do this. So I want to show you. So you can go to the settings. Then you go to advanced features. You go to multi window. And here you want to get um, two options. So first one, which um, is also shown here on the picture is the pop up view gesture. So you can enable or disable it and the split screen view action. So the pop up view gesture is this what I showed you with the Twitter app where you can just um, just um, swiping down diagonally diagonally from the other corner to the um, bottom corner. So this is also really easy. And the other option here, the split screen view action is basically if you are in Twitter and you hold down or hold the, um, the multi window um, button. So if you hold it down, you will get um, the split screen view. I don't know why it isn't working now. So maybe this is a bug. So let's open the Twitter app again. And now holding it down should normally, yes, okay, now it is here. So um, if you are holding again down this button, the multitasking button, you will get this view here where you would have the option to choose from um, other apps to be displayed on the bottom. So just like I showed you before. So yeah, that's it. So this is how you can use the multitasking feature. There is also one last thing here. And for example, if you drag um, or drop here this small window and you want to go to another app, but just quickly go back to Twitter, you can use this minimize option here and you will see that you will get a Twitter logo. And now when I open, for example, in YouTube, I will always have this app here in foreground. And now when I minimize also YouTube and I want to open it up later, I can edit. And here you will see that we have two different apps here, which we can open from. So let's say Twitter and the YouTube app. So now we have two apps at the same time time. So you can check this out on your Galaxy phone. So this works on every new Samsung Galaxy phone also on the A models uh, supporting this. So maybe you will find some of these um, options useful for your daily use or maybe not. So I hope you enjoyed this video or found this video useful. If yes, leave a like. If you have any questions, you can leave also a comment down below. I will try to reply and help you if you um, yeah enjoy also my other videos or if you want that I do other videos like this you can also give me suggestions in the comment section I hope to see you back on this channel bye